Hey everybody, welcome back to the DCS Air Warfare Group. This is Juice again. So in today's video, I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on what I think is the best key to set up for the Hornet Ball Command. Uh, it works for VR, it works for track IR, it works for people with face track no IR. And the reason it works so well is it works it works because the space bar is probably the easiest button to find when you're on final and you're watching your ball, you're watching your uh, instruments, you're watching everything on the flight. So as soon as we touch down on the deck, I believe this flight we're going to catch a 4 OK wire or OK 4 wire grade. Pretty much entered the groove, stayed right in the middle just a little bit. And here we go. And trap. There we go. 4 wire. And it didn't go idle on the wires this time, which is one of the things I'm trying to work on. So, all right. So let's pause it here and we'll go into our control setup. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to find something that is it's easy for a key bind. And, and trust me, I've tried to do this to a HOTAS setting. I can't if you can figure out how to get it to work to a HOTAS setting, let me know. I other than using Joy to Key, which I don't use anymore, I do have it, but I haven't used it in a while. Uh, I've found that the space bar works great for calling the ball. Uh, it's one of the things you can do on the fly when you're coming in and your head's down in the in the approach. So you'll go to your controls and you'll bring up the FA-18 SIM. Hopefully you're on the SIM uh, and you will hit the space bar and you'll notice the the space bar usually is like the second detent for the gun and you don't need that unless you use unless you're flying you know keyboard and mouse you don't need that for the gun. You can use something else for the gun. Uh, what I use is the trigger on my HOTAS on my uh, Warthog. And I'm going to do a video uh, here in a couple days that you'll see come out maybe in a week or so. And it's going to be showing everybody with uh, a real live video of my setup in my, uh, in my sim room uh, at home. So <clears throat> you'll take it and you'll, you'll unmap it from the keyboard. And you'll scroll over here to your column for the joystick. I'm, I'm sorry. You'll, you'll, you'll stay over there. And what you'll do is you'll unmap it from the guns. You'll clear it. And what you'll do is you'll push, uh, you'll go up to Hornet Ball. You go up here and hit search and go Hornet. There it is, Hornet Ball. You'll click in this. Let's go ahead and clear that out. What we'll do is we'll clear it. You, what you'll do is you'll double click it and you'll just hit the space bar. And then you'll hit OK. And now it's set. And then you hit OK over here. There. And now it's set. So anytime you hit the space bar on a final approach, once the Hornets, uh, once you're in the ball range, it will go off for you and you will get a good grade. If you ever land and you notice no proper communications, it's because you didn't do your radio calls right. And part of that is, is the Hornet ball, no ball call and stuff. So that pretty much concludes the video. I hope this helps you guys uh, find a shortcut key. Uh, maybe something else will work for you. Uh, I just you know, publish what I work with because it seems to be uh, pretty good. And a lot of my friends have changed that too and say it's perfect because you can actually, you know, reach up with your thumb, even in VR, find the space bar and then just hit it when you're ready. Have a great day, everybody, and I hope you stay safe. Cheers.